Shalom, y'all. Uh, I'm sitting here looking crazy, as you can see. Hospital Chronicles, part two. Uh, uh, when we last talked, when y'all last saw me, um, I was explaining to to everybody, those who who don't know me on a personal level, you know, about all the the trials that have be fell me, I hope that's a word, uh, over the past year, you know, with my my health and being in the hospital, um, just explaining everything that had gone on with me and what was currently going on with me about a month ago, and I was explaining how, you know, I didn't expect, uh, I didn't expect the hospital stay to be, um, to be a long one, because, you know, what was going on with me wasn't, wasn't as, um, you know, just wasn't as drastic as what had gone on with me last year and you know to to my credit that was true and untrue um uh, i spent about six days in the hospital and then they sent me home uh with um you know some meds and just different things to take every day and after about a week i got readmitted and at this point, I've been here a, f a few weeks. Well, this is my, I'm at my second facility now. I was back in the, you know, the hospital that I was in last year. And a couple of days ago, I was moved to a, um, a rehab facility. Um, hoping, hoping and praying that this this stay is not not very long that I'm able to uh, rehab and get out of here in a in a in a decent time. Um, but it was you know what I was explaining in the last video, where I was feeling that familiar pain from when I was septic last year, and um, you know I went into the hospital for that six days and they they did their thing and they kind of sent me home um with um oral antibiotics in the hospital they were giving me iv antibiotics and the last time i was septic last year when they discharged me they sent me home with um an iv that's called a pick line and they they care packaged me the IV antibiotics so that I could take those every day to help rid um, myself of the infection. So when they decided to send me home this time with oral antibiotics, I thought it was I thought it was peculiar, but you know I was going home, so I didn't make a fuss, and you know that that kind of turned out to be a bad decision um first and foremost i you know I, I thought to myself that they were sending me home too early you know not that i wanted to be in the hospital but it just didn't seem like you know my stay was long enough um and, and that's partly why i'm making this video is that you know just to be a uh, uh, um an encouragement to others if you ever happen to go through something where you have to be in the hospital um don't be afraid to speak up don't be don't be uh too bashful to voice your opinion to say what you know excuse me to say what's what's on your mind concerning your body because at the end of the day, this is your body. This is your health. 
and this is your life, you know, that you are, you know, putting in the hands of other people, even though they're doctors and nurses and, you know, so-called experts. At the end of the day, this is your body and you have to speak up and advocate for yourself if you can. Um, so after about a week at home and, you know, considerably getting worse every day, I'd already had a an appointment with my surgeon set for that Friday. And, you know, when I went in to see him, I just spoke my mind and, you know, I just told him that I felt like I was, I had been worse at home than, you know, when I came in and he, you know, readmitted me from his clinic right then and there back to the hospital that, um, that I'm so familiar with at this point. Um, and that was September 9th. It's now uh, September 30th as I'm recording this. And like I said, now I'm in my second facility, um, rehab facility, and hopefully I will be going home soon from here. Um, just got to get my get my body back in motion. But like I said, I I had said last time I was going to do these hospital chronicles every day, but just kind of got, you know, complacent and didn't get them done. But, you know... Here's Hospital Chronicle number two. And um, the message is all about advocation. Um, don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. If you are someone who has a loved one in the hospital, do not be afraid to speak up for them. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's it, you know. Just don't be afraid to, to speak up. You know, life is I've said in one of my one of my previous videos, life is a gift. And you know, we can't we can't waste time within the gift being afraid to speak up for the gift. So that's my message to y'all today. And that's it, man. Shalom. Love y'all.